right, everybody. We're doing another Rob reacts. I know, I know. I've I've done reaction videos. Y'all are ready for me to cook something. I I'll be cooking eventually. I'm still winding down from Civitan camp and coming back to work and catching up on everything I had to do there. Um, it's going to be another reaction video this week. I love that y'all come in and watch these. And I hope that I'm showing y'all videos that you like looking at and watching my reaction is worth your time. Um, we are going back to watch Tug Trash Outdoors. And Ryan, make sure you put the link to that channel so everybody goes back and looks at the original content and i'm going to tell you right now this is his latest video and i'm looking at the top of that bucket and i recognize scallops and you know in florida they can go get scallops and it's like scallops up here in hattiesburg mississippi oh lord they're expensive these, what I love about this guy's channel is he goes out, uses the resources that he has afforded to him being in South Florida. Not only does he go get them, he shows you how to clean them. And then he shows you how to cook them. So I am especially looking forward to this. I am a big fan of bacon wrap scallops. I'm looking forward to seeing how he's going to cook these scallops at the end of the video because I know it's coming at the end. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. And let's see. Ian, tell us how to do scallops. Well, guys, we got another adventure for you today. We're back in one of our favorite places in Florida, Steenhatchee, Florida. We're here to get scallops. We got everybody. We got mullet. We got Marlin. Crystal, Bianca, and Bianca's friend Sylvie are with us. We're just checking in to our Airbnb. We're on the end of a little ah. small canal here, but we do have direct Perfect. access to the Gulf. This place Perfect. is cool like an old little fish camp style got a clean in shack there but we're gonna spend the weekend here it's friday we're gonna leave on monday y'all are gonna come along we're gonna teach you how to get scallops how to clean them and where to get them and have a lot of fun along the way now i know y'all gonna want to know it's an airbnb we'll put the link in the description and uh i'll give you guys a quick little tour we're gonna drop the boat in the water here in a second and we also did something super cool we rented a golf cart i think that's gonna be <laughs> a lot of fun this trip but it's a two-story come up here got a nice big screened in porch look at that Mel is not hamming it up on here it's thundering a little bit the oh, forecast for the weekend does not look well it looks like florida summertime yeah. weather coming in florida summertime weather let me let me tell you what that's code for that's in the southeast of your continent of the us of a we are a pressure cooker of humidity and heat down here and in later summer what ends up happening is your mornings are great, but in the afternoon, you have these storms that come up. Um, in South Louisiana, depending on the size of the storm, they've got different names for them. Um, what we would call a shower or a summer shower here in South Mississippi, in South Louisiana, they call those tompets. Um if if it's a downpour that comes in the afternoon with lightning and all that they call those grands in south louisiana we just call those thunderstorms and what they always say in south louisiana you just want to make sure you're looking out for those tornadoes what you and i call tornadoes so that's what he's talking about i love this airbnb location he's he's gonna have a perfect place to dock his boat bring his family in and do everything we're about to watch 
kitchen. You've got a nice little kitchen outfitted with everything you need. Kitchen table. Got a nice little living room area. It's like a 60, 65 inch TV. Three comfy couches. Come on down here. This is the room the girls are gonna share. Just a little bath nothing crazy then we got the master here nice big tv here of course it's got nice curtains so you can you can black it all out nice bathroom in the master looks like a king bed and then of course we have a private balcony here i overlooking the dock nice. and the boat will be right there they got a little fire pit i'm sure we'll do some grilling and chilling and cooking and who knows you never know what we might get into while we're here first thing <laughs> you got to do on a trip like this we got to go put the boat in the water crystal was going to take the boat around but she's feeling brave she's going to do the trailer i'm going to do the boat i never drive the trailer so i need practice she she moves it around in the yard when i'm not around <laughs> but i think she secretly does it by hand you know how to back up put your hand to the bottom yeah i'm gonna you pretty much just got it. You just got to go straight back. Zero pressure. Nobody's watching. She's doing pretty good, folks. You're doing great. Come on, babe. All right. I got to tell you, Ian, uh, that is perfect to, I, I mean, you're a driving instructor, dude. I have been uh, backing trailers for years, decades. Um, damn near half a century. Um, and trying to teach my son this process, producer Ryan, um, I, I keep telling him, move your hand from the top to the bottom so you can get your trailer going where you want it to go. Uh, this, I think this is the first time I've ever seen anybody on YouTube say this. Ian, great job, dude. Ooh, that is a little fast. All right, that's good. <laughs> good job, babe. <laughs> well, you ain't out of the woods yet. Got it unhooked? So it's unhooked. Now what do I do? You stand there and look pretty. Okay. <laughs> good luck. So I started coming to Steenhatchie over 10 years ago now, I believe. I know I talk about it in some of my videos. This place is truly old Florida. Beautiful. They got a river that runs right through town. One side they call Jenna, one side they call steen hatchy it's just awesome i love coming here excited to show this place to you guys that's awesome that's awesome thanks for sharing we just idling down our canal here all kinds of really cool little camps along here places people come to fish hang out relax and unwind and cicadas cicadas are going what are you doing baby girl And this is it, our dock for the weekend. We're all hungry. I'm pretty tired. I was in Miami last night bully netting. Me and Cody drove all night, got home, slept four or five hours, and then drove here. So I'm ready to get something to eat, relax, get some rest, get in the water tomorrow, and get on them scallops. Okay, okay. Let's talk because I did not review his bully netting video. When... Ian is talking about bully netting. What he's talking about is down there in Florida, they have the opportunity to catch spiny lobster. This guy catches shrimp, spiny lobster, scallops, fish like you wouldn't believe. He has the perfect, the, the movable feast, the, the sea C's bounty is at his fingertips and he shares that with us. Um, that's why I like re reviewing his videos so much. We get to see him go out and catch. We get to see him show you how to clean and we get to show a video at the end of the video. But uh, not a video. We get to show the 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 food, the the rest of the story, because that's what this is all about. And you know, I'm I'm just awestruck at everything that he does. Not only does he do that, he's doing that with his family. 
He is a great dude. Again, if you aren't subscribed to him, jump over there and do so. I made it back in one piece. So did the truck and the trailer. It took me a few times to back it up, but I did it. All right, I gotta Perfect. give credit where credit's due. Crystal not only brought the truck and trailer back, she's got it unhooked over there and the truck backed in. So it only took me three tries and the reason it ended up that way is because I jackknifed it and I was like, you know what? This is a good place for the trailer. And then <laughs> there was another truck and a trailer coming, so I gave up. We won't tell him you jackknifed it. <laughs> like I said, we got Good job, Crystal. Good job, there? Crystal. Oh, it's a it's a gas. You're on the YouTube gas golf cart. Anyways, we got a cart. Definitely recommend it. We got this cart from Puddin's Hatch Wagon. Downtown Steam Hatch. <laughs> I guess that's the new shop. Have to go wow. Check it out. Got all of the goodies Dude, for the I want to be there. Are you girls ready? <laughs> we just went and ate. Just got done eating. And now... We forgot to film anything while we were eating. We went to Maddie's. We got some groceries. But anyways... We're going to bed. We'll see tomorrow, you tomorrow. We're going scalloping. Alright. Good morning. Are you ready to scallop today? Food. Food first. Then scalloping. We are idled on out the river. We just had a delicious shrimp and grits uh, breakfast that you guys will see. B was all about, don't throw this camera in my face first thing in the morning. That's, that's, welcome to parenting. <laughs> see, you might have already seen or you might see in the next video. I'm not sure yet. I got some local knowledge. I think we're going straight to the scallop. We got my scalloping team here and uh, we're meeting up with Cody and Stacy and Stacy's dad and his wife. We're gonna get on them today, folks. I promise you that. We are stopping at the famous Sea Hag Marina, y'all. <laughs> they just redone it. I hadn't seen it all yet, but uh, they got everything you need right here. The famous Sea Hag, we gotta get some ice and a bucket and another scallop bag so what's up there they are cody and stacy getting some ice the machines oh i just bought a basket i'm gonna pay for it it'll bring it to the boat look at this they got everything man's bringing the ice for us here's my boat dude that 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 looks like you walked into a gift shop uh, a gift shop uh, on Bourbon Street in, in Florida. <laughs> we got the bimini top on for scallop season. So nobody cooks in this heat today. There's a little bit of wind, so it ain't that hot right now. And there's some rain over there. Cody and Stacy are gonna buddy boat with us. We're gonna head out. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. We are just slowing down and pulling up into the scallop fleet. Water is super clear today. I forgot my little polarized lens, but hopefully y'all can see how clear that is. Good strategy is we're gonna look for some patchy bottoms so where there's sand and grass and work those edges. The scallops seem to like it. I'm ready to be in the water, it's hot. We forgot our polarization lens, this water's just crystal clear about five foot deep look at there Okay, and I'm and I'm guessing, and Ian, if if you would post a comment in this video and let me know if it's true, I'm guessing you can't use scuba to gather scallops. You've got to use snorkels. 
um, because I've been watching other content and I've seen lots of people snorkeling to do stuff like this. I'm like, dude, I, I, I just put on a scuba tank and, and go do all this. So join in and tell us if we've got to use a snorkel, not a scuba tank. Remora. Scallop. Scallop. Two for one. You have found a spot, dude. What's that? Tell me. Tell me what that is. Look at all those blue eyes. Those scallops see you when you're coming for them. for scalloping so yes you can find them in the thick grass but if you had noticed you look on those edges of the grass where it's a little bit thinner you look at the white patches not in the white patches but the edges and work those edges and you'll do really well don't read your dive frag oh, don't no breathe fog. salt water oh no no fog for your mask and you want to look for when the sun comes down their little blue eyeballs yeah i think i got some cool shots of their little blue eyeballs you oh, did. i'm like i bet crystal's filming the same stuff as me that is a full live well Woo. of scallops there's tug trash himself that should finish the limit off finishing there. off the limits we're gonna measure them in this five gallon bucket and then put them on ice look at that so we can have eight gallons so we can fill the bucket up once and then a bit i got that for you Aww. Look how big that is. Last, that's five right there. It's actually not to the brim. It's just close. I think we got a little bit. Wow. Well, we made it back. My hair is crazy. Yeah. That, that's actually called Dead Man's Bay. Uh, coming into Steenhatchee. We got our limit of scallops. That's awesome. They're on ice. They're not in ice. I'm going to talk about that when we get back, how to ice your scallops so it oh. makes it easy to clean them. I'm hungry. Crystal said she would clean my scallops because I got more. That's not what I said. Yeah. But we're going to try to get something <laughs> to eat, maybe go for a golf cart ride. Yeah. And later tonight, we're doing steak and lobster with Cody and Stacy. But that's not the cook that's for this video. video. Is that cooler heavy? It's heavy. Alright y'all, so I want to show you how we got these things iced. The, this cooler is covered in ice on the bottom, but we don't have the scallops like thick in the ice. If you put too much ice, they won't open good. If you, and if you put too little, they won't open good. Uh, so there's a little bit of a trick there. Um, and they're harder to clean oh, me. if they're not open. I'll show you how I do one here. So these scallops are actually still alive. Got a little scallop knife. It's a butter knife. You come in, you got a dark side and a light side. Come in around the top of the dark side and separate that muscle like that throw that top one mm. there's all those guts come in on the back side of the shell kind of grab the stuff and pull forward and over all that comes off then you got your meat bust your meat loose and take that and you put it in the bowl with the other meats wow and that's how you do that and you do it about a hundred and something times I have she's never seen this. We got helpers. <laughs> How you doing? Good. You see, you see all that right there? Uh -huh. right uh -huh. Grab it like that. I kind of grab it with my thumb I want to and be pull it forward and kind of rotate. Yeah. And then you can just and separate out fuel burner be that. Hmm. But hey, it's like that you know, 4,500 to 5,000. Wow. We're going to the Sea Hag. We're going to terrorize. Okay, Ian, you just taught me how to clean a scallop. I have only seen the finished product. 
the fact that you can go out and grab them and then do this kudos my friend you're living a life no. <laughs> no we're not going to terrorize anybody we want to terrorize the town we're going to the sea hag they have remodeled since the storm that passed and we haven't been here so we're gonna go check it out and see if there are things that we cannot live without right b yeah right babe you can live without yes quite a bit probably <laughs> we'll see you at the sea hag It's Walmart. It's it's Bucky's. It's on water. Hello, Pirate Pete. Hi, oh pretty boy. Yeah. Hi guys. So this is second full day at Steam Hatchy, and we're gonna do something a little different. My buddy Captain Les of Snatch and Hatch Charters had a charter cancel and he said hey you guys just want to come on the big boat with us today he's got a really cool deck cat thought about it i said yeah man why not that's what we're gonna do we're going up to meet him at dead man's bay marina now we're gonna get another day of scalping and we've got the whole crew back here i brought sandwiches y'all check that boat out 26 foot deck cat crazy amount of room i think it's wow awesome. hatch snatch charters captain less all his information will be in the description uh we are on this beautiful it's a 26 27 27 deck cat all the room in the world for your family uh we'll do just about anything steen hatchy can throw at you except for way offshore and uh we're headed to the scout grounds wow we just hit the scallop grounds folks we're some red rock turning we got out a little bit early love you love but same spot <laughs> we were at yesterday and fixing to get in the water it's tides a little bit higher right now as the tide goes out it'll get better and better Get that girl a snorkel, Ian. Blue crab. Don't grab that one. Do not grab that one. That'll grab you back. Couple that scallops together stays together. Horseshoes crab. There's your prehistoric crab. And a scallop. And the blue eyes. Just like that, we're limited out, headed to the sandbar in style on this beautiful deck cat. Oh, look at wow. him. Wow. Come here, B. Come here, B. There you Model go. Model Corpus. Look at that. How awesome is that? Awesome. Wow. Is that cool? Yeah. All around us. Check this boat out. It's a cat. Thing Catamaran. We've made it back to the dock. I got some music playing, so this will be quick, but we're going to go eat some lunch and clean some scallops. The girls are about poop. <laughs> we are working on our second day limit. Slave driving, cleaning scallops. I was going to pay. 
$90. Yep. You, I was going to pay. No, you weren't going to pay. I was going to pay. pay. No, I would have paid. <laughs> she was, she was. 90 bucks. Time is money. <laughs> right, babe? Show, show. You taught me that. Time is money. We finished this for eating dinner. We've got some of those steen hatchy bay scallops we Ooh. drove home today wanted to do Perfect. a cook at home we we're racking our brains i had something pop into my head it's called scallops au gratin basically scallops in a dish like this and broiled in a little bit of a sauce i think it might even be a french dish i'm gonna use my play on it we've got our scallops but what i've got is a a pan heating up here. I've got some lemon. I've got some roasted garlic. I've got some shallot. Now, I wouldn't usually wow. buy shallot. I'd use onion, but I was feeling fancy for the YouTube today. <laughs> I'm going to start out in my hot pan. On a stainless pan like this, you let it heat up a little bit before you start to cook. About a tablespoon of that. About a tablespoon of butter into that. I'm going to let that melt down. Hmm. Of course, the dogs are gonna start crying as soon as I start cooking. I think it's like an attention thing. I'm not talking to them. I'm gonna go in with that shallot and we're gonna cook that down until they're soft. What is the difference between a shallot and an onion? I don't know exactly. They're like cousins. But... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The shallots what? are the fancy cousins? Yeah, they're yeah. like the, the foofy cousins <laughs> from the big neighborhood. Gotcha. Shallot have a milder flavor than an onion. Mm -hmm. But you could definitely just use a red onion or a white onion. I've got that on like a medium high and we're just gonna cook it down soft. While that's going, I have this roasted garlic. Mm -hmm. I roasted just the cloves of garlic. I started to mash it up, but I wanted to show you guys that I just roasted them until they're soft and then mashed them with a fork in, that's butter that I roasted it in 30 minutes in an aluminum foil tin with a little bit of butter in the oven, 350. You know, anything that that goes into is about to be on fire. Oh yeah. So, Love me some like garlic. You're so doggy. You're so cute. You're gonna steal the whole show. And of course we have some homemade from the box, rice aroni, butter and herb. My scallops have cooked down, only took your shallots. My shallots, shallops, scalp, scalp, shallots, scalp, shallots. <laughs> if you've watched me long enough, you know I stumble over my words on camera already. Dang, where's the heart? Oh, I perfect. am adding the juice of like maybe a half a lemon. You could use white wine here. I'm just using lemon because that's what I had. That's gonna cook down. We're gonna go ahead and turn our broiler on high. Turn this up just a scotch. Scotch, going love to it. Add all that roasted garlic paste. Mm. That's a lot of roasted garlic paste. I love garlic so much. That'll go in like that. And I'm gonna add just a touch of cream in here. Mm -hmm. Get that bubbling. I'm a little nervous. I've never done this before. I just read some recipes. <laughs> Where's your took potatoes? from them what I wanted. That's key to cooking. You know, some recipes are great. You can make something out of it, but if something doesn't feel right in a recipe, by all means, don't do it. Then I'm gonna go in with my scallops. I'm going to, oh, wasn't ready, wasn't ready. Turn this all the way up to high. Season a good pinch of salt, pinch of black pepper. Mm. And I'm not cooking this all the way through. I'm gonna get it all kind of, kind of going together, but not cooked all the way through. Mix that around. Now those were cold, so it just shocked my pan way down. Yeah. That's gonna make a delicious sauce on them things, I can tell you that. Now while those are starting to get all nice and bubbly, I've got a topping here. This is Parmesan cheese, breadcrumbs, and a little bit of Old Bay that I'm just gonna mix together mm. with my fingers, because it's just us eating and no matter. <laughs> just like that. This is hot. Yeah. Get one last little stir and those scallops are just starting to get opaque scallops cook super fast now I'm going into these ramekins There's a name for these dishes and I in an older video if you're an older fan I asked you guys and you told me and I forget. I think they're called gratin dishes or something like that Maybe just a couple Don't more be giving yourself more now. So Like so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna hit them I really like Parmesan cheese on them. <laughs> so I'm gonna hit them with some just straight parm. And yes, I am using the fancier Parmesan tonight. Mm -hmm. You can use the cheaper <laughs> stuff if you want. This is uh, 
from Winn Dixie. Yeah, that's the Winn Dixie brand. Just like that. All right, last little bit. We've got our topping Old Bay Parmesan breadcrumbs. And I probably made way more topping than I actually needed. That's gonna be so good. All that's right. That's perfect. No, oh, that's good. Boom, boom. That's now, beautiful. we got our broiler on high. So, we're gonna broil those until they're bubbly and golden. All right. That <clears throat> looks awesome. I almost messed this up. I'm not gonna lie, I had to pull them out one time. <laughs> I was broiling too close to the flame. I pulled them out and just double checked. And I did add some little pads of butter. I meant to put add puts of butter, pads of butter, but see how it's all <laughs> mm -hmm. juicy around the edges. That's what you're looking for. We are gonna pull these out, plate it up, and eat. I'm putting some balsamic glaze on my Brussels sprouts because nope. that's how I like. That it. drizzle was a YouTube moment. I sorry. Do you want me to drizzle yours? Yeah. I'm gonna have her drizzle mine. But she just said she wanted to take her scallops out of the dish, and I'm I don't know how I feel about it. You want to um, I'm probably gonna use a fork. What do you want me to do with your thing? I got it. I drizzled your Brussels. Okay. All right. Oh, that thing's hot. Look at that though. Beautiful. Crystal scoops some of hers out. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean... But I'm gonna go in and get a scoop of those. Ooh, that is so good. It's been a long week, folks. <laughs> yeah. I've been, this week, just this week, I've been scalloping, lobstering, crabbing. shrimping, and blue crabbing, and filmed a video for each one. The lobster video is out right now. It's doing well. And dude. <laughs> dude. That's why this channel is so great. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is so good. That garlic mm. is delicious. Mm. I love garlic. That sauce, like mm -hmm. it, they released some juice, you know, plus the cream and the cheese and the butter. I mean, how could it be bad? It's perfect. It's not salty. Mm. It's amazing. There's just enough, a little bit of Old Bay in there. Get a little bit of that rice in there, in that juice that oh, it created. No. I didn't get any rice. That's why I made rice. <laughs> I think this is gonna be the end of this one. It was awesome um, having Bianca with us and her friend Sylvie mm -hmm. and Cody and Stacy, and we met uh, Stacy's folks. Cap um, Captain Les was awesome. Captain Les, a new friend. Me and Les have been friends. We've been like <laughs> Instagram friends since before I had YouTube. We've been following each other, you know, and chit chatting along the way, and finally got to hang out with them. He invited us out on his beautiful boat. Yeah, I'm um, a deck cat now, so. And if you do <laughs> want to go scalloping, if you've never been, I absolutely recommend. Okay, time out. Did you just hear what Crystal said? Ian? Crystal wants a deck cat. Buckle up, buttercup. Hiring a guide, at least for your first trip, it's shallow all over Steenhatchee. Yeah. He can show you where to avoid, ask him those questions, you know, ask him what to look for. The patchy grass, you know, the edges, the yada, mm -hmm. yada. And if you're in town and you're not gonna use a guide, a couple of, uh, if you're not doing well, I always go ask the scallop cleaners. They're all over <laughs> town. You can pay them to clean scallops. We didn't do it. Go ask them, no. where's the scallops at? Or if you bring in some, say, hey, where's where's the big scallops at? They always seem to know, and most everybody is friendly and inviting and will uh, pass cool. on some local knowledge to you. But uh, And get a golf cart. Yeah, golf cart was definitely awesome. That was from Puddins. Um, Just parking alone was like a game changer with the golf cart. So I'll put the description in the description. There'll be a link for that Airbnb. Mm -hmm. There'll be the golf carts. I get no money for any of this. No. Um, just doing it because I know you guys want to know. And then Captain Les. Captain Les also does inshore and offshore. So he, anything you want to do uh, over there in Steenachi, he can do it for you. But This is super yummy. That's the end of this one. Thank you, guys. We appreciate you. Who's going to try
<laughs> Dude, this was a great video. Ian, great job. Crystal, great job. Bianca, glad y'all had a blast over there. Um, like I said, I'm envious of you. Uh, look forward to eventually getting to meet y'all. Um, it's a crazy ride doing this YouTube stuff. Um, I've, I've got friends in South Louisiana. I got friends in Florida. And look, these folks are giving you us great content. If you are not subscribed to them, please do so. Tug Trash Outdoors is the channel that you're going to be heading to. If you've made it this far into my video, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Hey, let's roll on. And for everybody that's been here from the beginning, thanks for being here. And... Look forward to seeing y'all next week.